Welcome back to the All Seasons channel. Uh, today, we're going to be working on this camper back here. It's got a uh, cable actuated uh, remote sewer valve. The, uh, it's got a gray and a black, both of them are remote. Uh, the black one is sticking partially open. It will not completely close. So we're going to show you how to change this black valve. Um, and it's under the tanks or under the uh, the belly material. Uh, it's like a it's a corrugated plastic belly material. So we're gonna take you along for the repair. All right, let's get started. All right, uh, as usual, we're going to figure out where the black tank is at, where the when where the valve is at up here, and we're gonna cut an access hole uh, in this um, belly material. Uh, this is one of them. <laughs> glad I get to show you this this is one of them that had they actually shoot nails um, I'm sure with some kind of powerful pneumatic hammer they shoot nails in this frame to hold this belly material up uh, the easiest way to get these nails out is get you a pair of vice grips and put your vice grips on that on that nail Get them adjusted properly. And just wiggle that thing and pull it out. They actually, I used to, there you go, just pulls right out. You just, there it is. You just pull, you wiggle it, pull it out, comes right out. Um, I used to take a grinder and uh, try and grind those heads off and you end up melt, melting your belly material and it would just make a big mess and then uh, a uh, buddy of mine works for a local dealer. He's like, ah, oh, man, I got the trick for you. Yeah, you just use vice grips and wiggle them. So there's how you get them nails out. Now we're going to just peek up in here and see if we can figure out where the black tank and the valve is at. Oh, you got that flashlight camera. really cool thing about when you when you work these nails out like that you've already got a hole you got a pilot hole for a self tapper so when you get done you just shoot a shoot a self tapper up in there to hold it uh, reuse the washer and everything actually works out pretty well might have to take one more nail out camera now there's the black tank Okay, oh, right there's a black valve. Sweet. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, right there it is. Sweet, it's close. Okay. Cables back there. All right, we just, I'm just, I just moved, I moved that one nail so I could pull the belly down, look up in there. We're gonna, we found the valve. It's, uh, it's close. It's like right here. So, what I'm gonna do is take my pocket knife and if the valve is farther away than this one, this is a really handy trick. Uh, where you think the valve is by looking up in there, just just stick your knife up in there. Typically, real easy to do. And then you just look up in there, and you can see your knife blade. And that little that little slit in that belly never hurt nothing. Uh, well, you can even tape over it when we're done. But just make sure we are in the right place, and we are. So figure out where we're gonna cut our access hole. Probably gonna start here and go over 
Yep, you can't see. Probably gonna start right here. Go like over here. Um, and back, just make a nice little flap. Um, actually, when you cut your flap, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna make an access hole, make uh, that's that's the front of the trailer. So you would make your this would be what you don't cut. You cut like this. It just it just seems to make sense to me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make our access hole. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be real big. So there's our there's our black valve that we're gonna change. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Alright. Y'all seen this before if you've watched any of my sewer valve. Yeah, there's four four bolts here. To hold this uh, hold this valve all together here. Take the on a three inch valve, there's gonna be seven sixteenths wrenches. Just take your, uh, let's take your seven sixteenths wrenches and loosen those four bolts up. Now, this is always the this is always the fun part here. You, uh, of course, first thing you do is take your magic watch off. Flies off every time I reach my hand up in place. Uh, this is when you find out whether you're uh, gonna have any stinkies to deal with. I'm gonna lay a towel down here. And start getting bolts out of the way. One bolt. Get the hardest ones to reach first. Calls. Anytime you're working on a sewer valve, you're laying right under it. So anything that drips out, you know where it goes. Right on you. Alright, well, try to crack this thing a little bit here. See what we get. Uh, don't like it's going to be too awful there. Uh, 
No, not bad at all. There's our, there's our old valve. Make sure that you get your old seals off. Here's uh, here's one old seal. The other one's still stuck to the pipe. So we want to make sure we uh, get our old seals out. <laughs> I want to try and put it back together with three seals. All right, now we are going to go to the other end all right this is the black this is the cable for the black valve the other one is the gray so you need to get these nuts loosened up the ones that hold this cable in the bracket right here so we're going to take we're going to take the other end of this cable out of the out of the valve and then just pull the whole the whole cable through Can you hold it? Can you hold it. Keep it from turning. Alrighty. All right. Like I said, we're just gonna take we're gonna take this cable off this this old valve here and uh, pull the uh, pull pull the old cable out. Is it all? It's all gonna be brand new when we get done. These valves actually snap together for the biggest part. Uh, try and get this thing to unsnap here so that this will slide out of the way and so we can get to that allen wrench right there that allen screw right there with our allen wrench Man, just don't want to cooperate. Must have def deformed that cable quite a bit when they tighten that screw up. There we go. Alright, got the old valve off. Now we'll... Gonna kind of look up in here and see... See where all that cable goes. All right, Cameron, you want to just go ahead and pull that old cable out? Where is it? Right here. Yep. Uh, I really like the uh, the Valterra valves. Um, the remote valves they just seem to uh, they just seem to be the work the they seem to be the best to me and uh, uh, for ease of installation and everything they give you everything you need. Uh, new valve, new bolts, new gaskets, new cable. 
it's uh it's all in the box one of the most important things if you're doing in a Valterra is to leave that little plastic thing on that uh, cable until your your repair is complete uh, it tells you it tells you all this stuff in the instructions of course if you're a man first thing you do with them instructions just throw them away no I'm kidding read your instructions it tells you how to do it all right we're going to carry on all right when you start putting your new new cable in uh, I know you probably can't see that bracket that holds the the cable but put that in don't forget to put your nut on there oh, actually it's already on the cable this jam nut right here you got to take this off the cable to start with because this needs to be one side of this on one side of the bracket and this on the other side so get this jam nut off your cable to start with Slide that jam nut right off the cable. Ta da, just like that. Then, when you put your new cable in, be sure and slide your nut up on there. Because as you're pulling that cable, putting that cable in, you have to. You have to uh, you have to do it all at one time. There's the there's the back side of that bracket. Here's where the cable goes up in the belly at. Just a just a hole. All you want is the the cable going up in there. Leave your nut here. Now I'm gonna reach up inside the belly. Hope I can reach it. Ugh. Get a hold of the end of that cable. There we go. My nuts want to hang out. <laughs> can you reach up there and grab that nut? Hold it. Yeah, there it is. Got the got the cable all pulled through. Now we can actually uh, since this is actually we got a lot of room to work up here. Uh, we can actually just go ahead and install our our valve on our cable and then put it put it all back together as a complete assembly. Get our new uh, get our new valve and stuff out of the bag. Valve. There's a bunch of extra stuff in there that we won't use too. Uh, our new hardware. And there's a bracket, a nice little aluminum bracket they always put in here. Like if you were doing a, a new install, not replacing a bad one. So I always hang on to these. I always think they're going to come in handy. I got. A whole bunch of them in a the truck, but I've never used one yet. But hey, who knows? Might come in handy someday. All right, the new the new cable slides in the new valve here. I have to loosen these screws up a little bit more.
you got to kind of put the uh, cable sheath and the cable uh, that goes in the uh, valve right here. You kind of got to do them at the same time. Make sure that that sheath goes in there all the way. Just like that. Make sure you get everything slid together nice. Like I say, we can go ahead and just uh, tighten this uh, tighten this cable up because we still got our our little red plastic thing out there on the end of the cable. The cable is all the way in, correct, Cameron? Yes, it is. Just push it to verify. I see it wasn't. Ah. Is it in? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Our holes are lined up here. Our cable sheath is all the way in. Uh, we've got our our interior cable, the main part of the cable. We've got it in this fitting in the in the new valve. Now we can take and of course the, the new valve it's closed. We can go ahead and tighten this. Allen screw up. I don't have to go plumb crazy on it. Just get it nice and tight. Now we're gonna take and tighten this clamp up on the on the cable sheath like such. And we are ready to install our new valve. Now it wants to drip. I know y'all not gonna be able to see up in there, but maybe a little light. Let's take uh, take your new seals, put them on the pipe, both sides of the pipe. They'll kind of stay there for the most part. Alrighty, now I'm gonna have Cameron pull on this pipe a little bit so we can get some separation so I can slide this new valve up in there. Right right like that, Cameron. There you go, perfect. You're putting the new valve up in there, just just keep an eye on your seals. Make sure nothing moves. Yep, like that. Just like that. Alright, now 
now as you're putting it together, just kind of look up in there and make sure your, your seals are still all where they belong. Now these uh these new bolts, there's two long and two short bolts. So when you're uh, it even comes with an Allen wrench. I never use I use my own Allen wrenches. Uh, when you're doing this valve, make sure you get the uh, the long ones go on one side of the bracket where the where the valve body's at. And then the, uh, did I say the two long ones go on the side where the valve body's at, and then the two short ones go on the other side. You can't mess it up because you can't get the, the, the short bolts are too short for that one side. Usually I make that mistake once. Get all you get two bolts in, and you realize that uh, you got them all wrong. Not a whole lot of difference in them, quarter inch or so. new bolts and nuts started. Just like such. Okay. Seven sixteenth ranch. You see it? Is it 
Put in the tile. Oh, it's right. Put this behind me. Oh. Just snug him up, as always. Don't go crazy on it, it's just plastic. All right, got all four bolts and nuts tight. Now, we are gonna have Cameron pull out the little red plastic tab. Just pull straight down on that camera, or straight sideways, whatever, just pull it out. All right, now open and shut the valve. Feel pretty good? Yeah, it's a little, there's some resistance, but good that's what you want it's nice and snug yeah all right well now we lick test it which means we put water on it and see if we got a leak we're good Cameron. yep no leaks there I can see well our repair is complete we have leak tested everything's dry now we're gonna put this little flap of belly back what I do is I cut furnace strips and uh, just put those up inside the belly put half half the furnace strip on the old piece of the belly the other half there for the flat and I just shoot some little half inch screws in it and it holds holds everything back holds everything together very nicely. Since they're half inch screws going in a, a three quarter inch furnace strip, there's no screws sticking out of the top that would ever damage any wiring or plumbing or anything that's in the, up in this belly so makes a good repair a little piece of furnace strip on that side another little piece on this side These folks have this camper more than another three or four years. They will probably end up replacing this valve again. It just doesn't seem like they last very well. We'll just put our flap up, shoot some screws in it. And that will that will never go anywhere. And the next the next guy that comes along has to work on this valve. He's got easy access. Tell you a little bit. Well, let me get this last screw in, then I'll tell you. I tell you a lot of the reason I do this. Not because I'm lazy. It's because if if we didn't do this, we'd have to drop. Oh, I don't know, 20 feet of belly. 
we got them stabilizer jacks that the belly goes over top of to deal with this would be a nightmare be honest with you we'd probably be doing more damage than good because when you pull this belly when you have to pull a bunch of this belly material down um, it's it's hard to do it without damaging it and if we did it now and we done a little bit of damage to the to the belly material and then somebody else did it a few years from now again they do more damage and before you know it you got a mess so this is this is really the only logical way to do this now we got our screws in our uh, in our patch and our firm strip now I'm going to take some uh, rubbing alcohol a clean rag clean this off real good and uh, put some grill tape on it and this repair will be good as new I gotta put uh, I gotta put a couple screws in this uh, over here on the frame uh, one of them we all have already have a pilot hole for That's where we took that nail out so I'm gonna shoot that one in and also I'm gonna have to do put another screw here somewhere this clean we'll just put some uh, black gorilla tape on it and like I say you'll uh, you'll never uh, never know this was ever cut out There you have it. There's replacing your uh, cable actuated remote sewer valve. Um, if if you find any value in my videos at all, please please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And me and Cameron are going to go down the road and fix another one. See you later.